folks right here is what i'm after today big shell cracker red ear sunfish and i'm doing it in midwinter i've never done this before you know most time you fish for shell cracker in springtime you see them on bed you flip out there it's a lot of fun but i've never fished for shell crackers red ear sunfish this time of the year and not only that my dad he's 93 years old and i dined at his house the other day and he said you need to go catch me a mess of fish so today that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go in here and try to catch my dad a mess of shell cracker and uh this will be a new experience for me fishing for shell cracker in the winter time so let's go in here and see if we can catch one mm -hmm. appreciate y'all tuning in oh that was a thump that was a thump sure enough i guarantee you, he thumped he thumped that he thumped that worm slap off the end of that hook right there Oh gone. Don't y'all look at what a nightcrawler. That thing looks like a baby snake. I'm gonna pinch him in two and just slide him on there like that. Now I tell you what, you need to bring your rag with you when you do this. If you don't, you're gonna look like you've been uh, digging ginseng or something. You're gonna have dirt all when you get done with this, you're gonna have dirt all up on your fingers, that's for sure. Uh oh. I think I see my line jump. Yeah, bees on there. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is definitely gonna be a shell cracker. I can tell the way he's. Yep, there's a, there's your one right there. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh goodness, look here now. We got a big front blowing in here tomorrow, and it's supposed to rain for three days. So today is the last day I'm probably gonna get to fish for a while. So I hope I can make it count. I'm just letting the wind just kind of ease me up through here, just kind of drifting me up in here. I ain't even touching that trolling motor right there. Sitting in six foot of water. Water temperature is 47 degrees right there. There he is. Oh my gosh. This one here's a good and showing up. Look at here. What is it? What is it? Oh gosh. Look at this bitch. Now we talk a big monster shell cracker. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Look at please. Oh Lord, I might as well scoop him up and dip me it. Oh, I just barely got him hooked. I just barely got him hooked. Get up in here. Yep. Oh, yes. Look at that. Now, don't y'all look where I hooked this fish. It don't matter. I got him. Now, this area that I'm fishing is in the North Alabama area. And I got something I'm going to show you on my phone in just a minute. About Alabama. And about the fishery in Alabama. It's amazing. Oh, there's one. God, did y'all see that? Did y'all see that lick? My gosh. This is definitely gonna be a shell cracker. A little one. No, that's actually a bluegill. I mean, my goodness. That thing like jerked the whole end of that pole down. That little bitty fish right there. Just in Alabama, right there, it says 10% of the freshwater resources that flow through the United States flow through Alabama. Look at look at look at all the little contributaries, streams. I mean, just all over Alabama. And then uh, there's uh, look at this right here. There are more than 132,000 miles of rivers and streams in Alabama, and that's enough to circle the Earth five times. That's just in Alabama. Right here. Look at this. 312 freshwater fish species in Alabama. We got 202 freshwater snail species. We got 31 freshwater turtle species. We got 186 freshwater mussel species in Alabama. We got 97 freshwater uh, crawfish species in Alabama. In Alabama, ranks as number one in the U.S. for freshwater crawfish, fish, snails, turtles, and mussel shell species. Now let's go back to catching fish. Let me just go ahead and show y'all kind of how I'm rigged up here. Now I got this little old hook here. I don't. I'll get to pack out and show you in a minute, but it's a it's a little old brim or crappie hook, but it's kind of got a little little kink in it right there. See what I mean? See that? And uh, it was red, but that ain't about to paint off that one right there. Still got a little little bit of a worm on it there, but I'll get that pack out in a minute and show you the size of it and show you what they call. But so far, that little hook right there is doing pretty good. 
Now I just got me two little sinkers right above it, about 12 inches, right there, two little split shots. And all I'm doing is throwing it out there and letting it go to the bottom and just sit there. Now this, this line I'm using right here, that is six pound test. Any kind of little hook will work for this. But uh, this is just the ones I have. I bought these at Walmart, I don't know, a long time ago, thinking I was gonna go catch some crappie, thinking that, you know, I'm a horse crappie fisherman in Alabama. But anyway, this, I'm just using them now to catch these the shell cracker. And that's uh, a number four hook. It's team crappie. And uh, I'm going to just get one out and show you a little bit better about what it looks like. And I don't know the reason. Uh, Y'all can let me show you right here. See these hooks right here? They, see how they got, a, they got a little kink in them? Y'all going to excuse them dirty fingernails. I've been digging in worms. See that little kink in there? I don't know what the purpose of that is. If y'all do, just leave me a comment down below. I'm just pinching these little old night crawlers. Simple kind of fishing, just thread them on the hook like that. I like leaving my little ends, little wiggly ends out like that right there. Oh, oh golly, I missed him. He might have got that worm. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, oh, oh there he is. Uh, this is a, now that's a little bitty red ear sunfish. That's a little up and comer right there. Yeah, see that little, see that right there? Uh -huh. Okay, probably gonna have to wade through some of these smaller fish to catch enough fish to eat, so. But that's okay, I like just catching fish, so it, it's, it's all good to me. There he is. Good, miss. That's another one. <laughs> you can tell that's another one, okay. That ain't a bad one either right there. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, I love it. Put him in that thump net. I'll show you that thump net here in a little bit. I just got that thump net. Just throwing it out there, letting it go down to the bottom, just letting it sit there for a minute. And I, I might pick up on it a little bit and just kind of move it just a little bit. Just move it a little bit and then let it go back down, just let it sit there. Now, the way that glare is on that water, I can't see, I can't see my line or nothing, so I'm just fishing by feel right now. There he is. Yeah, we got nothing. Well, I tell you what, these things kind of got a little stubborn. I've been sitting here now for, I don't know, for a while. But anyway, there's another one. <laughs> My dad is going to, he going to like this, I tell you right now. There, that's a big one too. That's a good one there. Come on over here, thump that. Ooh. See how many we got in here. Well, you look at there. Over and got a good little mess. Now I put them in this thump net here. I went and got me a thump net. And this thump net right here, you can either put it in your live well or you can put it outside the boat just like this right here. You know them wire looking uh, baskets that you put your fish in? Well, this basically does the same thing. It just does a lot better job. And uh, I'll tell you all a little bit more about it in a minute. Let's get back over here and catch another one in the Golly, y'all, we don't know. It looked like a pretty good little mess in there. Whoop, there's one. Golly, he took off with it. Well, I think he got the men of that. Oh, I keep saying, man, I, you know what? I keep calling these stinking worms menace for some reason. I'm so used to fishing with menace that uh, I just can't get it out of my head. Folks, so if I call these worms here menace, you don't know what I'm talking about. Let's throw right out here and see what happens. Got a little point coming out right here. I always like to fish points. <laughs> Even when I'm trying to catch smallmouth or spotted bass points. See how calm and peaceful it is? This is the calm before the storm. And, uh, cause this can get really, really nasty tonight. There he is. Right under, oh, this is a big one here. Yeah, this is a big one here. Oh, Lordy mercy, look at him fighting. This is a good one here now, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear what one? Call. That's what I'm talk talking about right there. Look at that. <laughs> That's definitely a keeper there. That thing there, big hand. There you go. Golly. He just got that. Oh, Lordy mercy. I like to hit myself an eyeball. I did. When I pulled it back out, oh, Lord. Put another one of these jokers on here. I'm telling you. I'm 
starting to feel real good. <laughs> real good. Probably a lot better than that worm right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's another. Sure is. Another one. This here ain't big enough. I'm not going to keep him. I'm not going to keep that many anyway. So I, ones I do keep, I want them to be pretty good size. I know what... <laughs> That blue heron over there is licking his lips, but uh, he ain't gonna get that. That big blue heron right over there is just waiting on me to throw him a fish. Fixing to work on him right here. Yeah, we fixing to work on him. Right, we'll get ready, y'all. We fixing to catch him right here. Now, we fixing to catch him. I'm gonna pull up my sleeves on both arms. Folks, you ever just get to feeling like there's somebody staring at you you don't know where but you're kind of looking around you know there's somebody just kind of staring at you well I've been sitting there fishing and I got that feeling and all of a sudden I looked over and look right here look you're right there at the end of that little dock right there big blue heron and that, that blue heron right there. <laughs> he's waiting on me to throw him fish date. That's what he's waiting on. Look at that. Yeah. That right there is the best fisherman in the river. Here we go. Oh, they got to see that. Did he break it off? Oh, Lord, I thought he broke my line there for a minute. Golly, that in there felt like he weighed three pounds when he hit it. <clears throat> oh, Lord, he must tell you right. <laughs> Let's put another one of them on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there he is. That's a pretty good one here, I think. I think I think it is. Oh, yeah, this is a keeper. Oh, yeah, big and big and big and big and big and big. Oh, you go. Go and look. Look here, what a, look here, what a, look here, what a big shell cracker. Oh, Lord of mercy, big as your hand. Oh, God. Look at that sucker. That's what I am stinking talking about right there. Let's throw it right out there and see. Might be a passel of them right out there, y'all. There he is. Another big one. He sure is. Look at this one, y'all. Look at that big hammer he is. Look at the person. Look at that thing. My gosh. I mean, there's some big ones right here. Right in the thump net. Like that thump net, I, first time I've used it. First time I've used the thumb net. There's another big one. You all leave them to you, another big one. He's <laughs> showing up. Look at <laughs> There's some big ones right there. Goodness, look how big that thing is. Oh gosh, he just hit it again. I'm getting nervous. I'm breaking nervous now. Very intense fishing here. <laughs> oh, man. There he is. There's another big one. Yeah. Yeah, there's some big ones right here. Look at that. That makes about three in a row of big ones right here. Oh, God, I'm talking about big hands on. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Percy. Hmm. I don't know what the limit is. I got one on. I didn't even know it a good one too. Here's another. Oh God, did you see that? He just had a hold of the worm and he had the hook in his mouth. How did that happen? Don't go on. That just, mm. Oh Lord of mercy. Uh, I'm telling you, they just, they just like right there. Right on that, right on that little drop right there. And I'm, I'm feeling another one. Here he is. Oh, it's another big one. Oh, it is. Look right here. Another big one. Mm-hmm. Another good one. Golly, man, they are stacked. Stinking. <laughs> Here. It is big one too. 
Golly, look here, what one? Another big one. I mean, they stacked up right here. There you are. Look at that joker. I'm telling you right now, Lord have mercy. Put him in there. Oh, I just put him right in there. See right there? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting a mess of them in here now. I ain't got no idea how many shell crackers we got in that thump. Uh, uh, thump that. Mm -mm. Don't you look at that. Looky there. It's the shell crackers. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back here and see how many we got. See? You put that thump net in your, in your live well like that right there. And that way when you get ready to go, you ain't got to chase fish around in your live well. You just pick this up right here. And you got them. Now, I don't know how many is in there. Several. I tell you what, let's count. Them. Let's see how many we got. Okay, we got one. There's a big in there. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's too little. I'm gonna throw him back. Five. Six, there's seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, there's fifteen shell crackers in here. And uh, I'm gonna put them back in here. So we've had a good afternoon. They got it. Four of them big shell crackers, ain't they? Yeah, they're big shell crackers. Hi, right, folks, now my mom and daddy just cooked that fish with my dad. There he is, if you ain't never met him, it's my daddy right here. Peel them open like that. Okay. Then you eat them like that. Look at that. When Daddy Gus done eating the fish, folks, ain't nothing but the bone left. <laughs> you ain't enjoying them, Daddy, they good. Yeah. All right.